Hi, it's Wolf from Castle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest video. <clears throat> it's a quick tutorial, easy tutorial, on how to make Corvo's, Corvo's sword from the video game Dishonored. Fun little project. Yeah, and I love these things. That's why I did this. I love that. You know, the guard, like that. Just made out of foam board, like this. You can buy this at Walmart, any drugstore, any office supplies store, staples, places like that. It costs like a dollar for a sheet of it, and all you need is one sheet. And it's been uh, eight or nine days since I posted a video, and sorry about that. You know, I've been busy. I've been working on my latest book, right here, How to Make Fantasy and Medieval Dioramas. And it's finished, it's off to the printer, so I gotta just uh, approve a couple of things, a couple more things, um, so it can go to press. And you can buy a copy if you want. But that's not quite ready yet, it's almost done. So that's why I've been a little bit in posting the video. So here's Corvo Sword from Dishonored, and we can launch into the tutorial on how to make it. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you out of real creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing you do is print up the packet, and I give you this packet that has everything in it you need. And the URL for this is in the description of this video. So you see the parts, those are the parts for the sword, and these are the parts for the hilt and the guard. And you'll cut those pieces out and use them as a template to trace onto your foam board. Easy, very easy to do. You, and then once you get it all traced out on foam board, I'm going to um, make the blade here. It's a stack of three. So you make three of those and glue them together. Any kind of glue will do. And I use hot glue gun because it's just so easy. About foam board, a lot of people ask. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at any drugstore. You can get it at office supply stores. It costs like a dollar a sheet. And all you need for this video, for this project, is one sheet. So you glue all the three pieces together to make the sword. And there you go. That's the actual sword. It is a little thinner at the handle than at the point. Now the hilt. Cut out the hilt and place that on the sword like this in a good location. About that much. Give you that much for your hand. And then glue that right down. And the guard, and all the guard pieces, there are four guard pieces. You just cut them out too and glue them on over the hilt. And you'll get to look at this like that, over the hilt. See it? With the prong facing up towards the point of the blade. Now, there are two different pieces. There are two of one, two of this, that go on the flats of the sword. And then, there, see? One on the flat, one on the flat. Those are identical pieces. And there are two very different pieces that are a little bit shorter that will go on the edges of the blade. So just don't confuse that if you make this. Those are identical. And then these next two are a little bit smaller. Those go on the edge of the blade. So that's it. Easy enough. Cut those out. When you're cutting foam board, your first pass with the knife, just cut through the top sheet of paper. That's the best way to do it. Don't try to cut through the whole foam board at once. It tends to crinkle. So what's next? Paint it up a little bit. Have some fun with this. Look at the picture I have on the packet and have a little bit of fun. You know, it's just, you can actually paint it any way you want. But we're going to do it the way his blade is. Uh, the blade silver. And all the hilt and, and guard stuff is silver. And then the handle brown. And foam board sometimes doesn't take paint so well. You might have to do several coats. I did. I had to do several coats. Depends on the type of paint. A little bit of black in here gives the hilt and the guard a little bit of a metallic feel to it. But I, I put together this whole tutorial in just a few hours. You can probably make this in two hours. This is because it's a folding blade. You put that line on there like that. And I put lines in there for the... Uh, the fuller. The fuller is like a low section. Some people call it the blood groove. And if you want to actually make a real blood groove, I have a blacksmithing tutorial that shows you how to do that and for real. So some detail work and we're almost done. I ended up using uh, a sharpie to go over some of this. It looks really good. So that's it. The corpus blade is done. If you make one, be sure to send me a picture or post a video or something like that. I'll approve it as a response. Thank you very much for watching. Lots more stuff on my website at stormycastle.com and here on my YouTube channel, Epic Fantasy. Subscribe or leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. These three other projects, Altair's Sword, Zelda Sword, and in the bottom is the Daedric Sword from Skyrim.